The following is a message from Miss Jonel Benjamin, Program Coordinator, National Infectious Disease Control Unit, Ministry of Health, Wellness and Religious Affairs, in observance of World AIDS Day 2023. Every year on December 1st, the world unites to commemorate World AIDS Day. This annual event serves as a reminder of the global struggle to end HIV-related stigma and raise awareness towards the fight under the theme, Let Communities Lead. The first World AIDS Day took place in 1988, providing a platform to raise awareness and honor the lives affected by the epidemic. Over the decades, the world has witnessed significant progress in addressing HIV-AIDS thanks to advancements in medical research, increased access to treatment and prevention, and a broader understanding of the virus. As we commemorate the 35th year of hard work and commitment, we encourage everyone to recognize the journey taken, the successes achieved, and to never forget the challenges that persist. As we embody the theme, Let Communities Lead, we at the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Religious Affairs will concede and make the first step towards encouraging leadership within our communities. At this time, we are willing to put in place new and facilitate the continuance of the following actions that are necessary to accelerate our progress. We encourage community leadership through inspiring people to take responsibility for their actions and to recognize its impact on the lives of others. We urge everyone to understand the need to take ownership and hold each other accountable should one step out of line. Communities are by far one of our greatest pillars in this journey, and from there, many of our leaders emerge. Therefore, we open our doors to those who are committed to the cause and wish to join in the efforts to eradicate AIDS. In addition, we will strengthen our community health services through ongoing training of our providers in HIV treatment and care. This will aid us in breaking barriers to accessing care for those who are faced with the challenge. It is our promise to ensure that our healthcare team is fully equipped to provide unrestricted access to optimal care and other services while guaranteeing immediate results delivery. We promise to provide continued access to quality treatment that meets international standards. Currently, we follow World Health Organization's recommendations regarding treatment for our clients, whereby they can achieve viral suppression in three months with minimal side effects, experience a limited chance of drug resistance, and the opportunity for users to consume up to one pill per day. Additionally, the regimens allow clients to be able to start a family, have healthy, uninfected children, and in doing so, minimize the likelihood of transmitting the virus to others during sexual activities. Finally, we are also committed to increasing education on HIV among our younger generation, as they are the ones we should protect. They determine the extent to which this disease continues to survive among our population. We will promote and sustain other prevention efforts to halting transmission. Prevention remains a vital component of the fight to end the HIV epidemic. We at the Ministry of Health are committed to this effort and will work towards ensuring the sustainability of any best practices that will help us meet that goal. The progress made thus far relied heavily on the collaborative involvement of governments, communities, civil societies, advocates, activists, faith-based communities, and public and private organizations coming together for the shared goal of saving lives and changing the course of the HIV-AIDS pandemic. It will, however, require continued engagement and commitment to end HIV-AIDS as a public health threat by 2030. Our attempts emphasize our commitment to supporting collaborative responsibility is the major action towards the success we seek. In other words, we need all of society to win. Therefore, through remembrance, we draw strength and determination to redouble our efforts in fighting the disease and providing support to those with HIV. It's time to, rem to remind ourselves of the importance of compassion, empathy, and solidarity in the face of adversity. 
Let's fight to end the transmission of HIV through community leadership, togetherness, and our ongoing determination to see this through the end. Thank you. The preceding was a message from Ms. John L. Benjamin, Program Coordinator, National Infectious Disease Control Unit, Ministry of Health, Wellness and Religious Affairs, in observance of World AIDS Day 2023.